Yo, what up guys and gals, Holmes here and bring guys more Dark Souls 2 walkthrough for the next build. Um, yeah, so I have thought about it and let's just go on to the next area and we can come back for the Sentinel and maybe the Gargoyles. I don't know, if I have enough arrows I'll take them on because my tactic for them is cheesing with arrows. But today we're going to be taking on the Huntsman's Cops. Uh, okay, didn't miss anything there. Take out this guy. Uh, his buddies were. Oh no! Can't believe he got me. And watch out at this point because those moths, they spew out poison. Uh, you can just take them out with arrows. They're really weak, so you can just cheese them with arrows. And it seems like they it's at a hundred percent drop that they always drop um, a poison moss, and that's gonna cure the poison. There is another platform down down below us, so and we can interact with that platform in a bit. First, we're gonna want to take care of these guys. And uh, it's not over yet because in here there's a shit ton of more guys in here. There is going to be one right off the bat like right there. And I suggest you pull them out because there are going to be arrow guys that has poison coated with their arrows. One. Any more? One. Alright, he's down. Try my arrows. Oh no, he got me. <laughs> Shoot and uh Ah damn it. Stop it. Did he go down. Thank you. Uh we got life gems. Really handy. I believe there was two arrow guys, unless there was only one. Why don't we light up the room and check? <laughs> yeah, this is really really useful. When you light up the room in Dark Souls 2, it, I don't know, I, I think it kind of increases your lock on range for some reason. Ooh, got that guy. Uh, be careful with this guy here. There's going to be a guy right there. So you can just hold up your shield and he'll eventually break the door for you and you won't even have to open the door. If you attempt to open the door, he's going to whack you while you're trying to open the door and you're going to take some damage. So be careful. Uh, there's a couple pickups here. I want to take care of this area because we're going to be here in a bit. And I don't want to get ambushed by all these guys when we come back. You could light a torch here. But you're going to have a... You're going to have to have a lit torch first. You can either use your... Fire butterflies, what's it called? Flame butterflies. You can use that and you can light up those. You can light out your torch instantly and you can just go ahead and light one of those things if you guys so desire. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get back to this hidden ish door here. We can't interact it from this side. So, how do you interact with it? I'll show you. That's what this video is all about. Mm. Heading on up here, there's going to be two guys. One guy's going to be on the side over there. You won't be able to see him. Once you get close to this guy, he'll jump up. Or either... Yeah. And he's going to jump up now. Come on. Up. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was trying to attack him before he can get me there. Now be careful because once you jump down here... There's no way of getting back up, and the only way to get back out, no, I mean, get out of this area is you gotta hop down there. And don't worry, you won't die as long as you keep towards this side, you will take less fall damage. If you try to fall down from that side to here, you're gonna take a lot more damage because the distance, because you can't, you can kind of see like the, the, well, you could see it obviously. The area is slanted, so yeah. If you fall down from the, 
part that's lower, you're gonna take more damage. If it's, you fall to the higher area, and you'll take less damage. Simple, right? Alright, take care of this guy here. You can actually make this, this guy fall off. See ya! And, oh. We get some cracked red eye orbs over here, I believe. Yeah, one cracked red eye orb. Uh, you can head on down here. There's no enemies yet. You can open up this shortcut. Boop. Let up this bonfire here. There is a pickup right there. It's kind of a tough one to get to because, and there's a chance you might die if you fuck this up. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys want to risk it. It's um token of. Fatality, yeah. It'll allow you to join the, gain access to the blue Sentinel Covenant without having to play multiplayer. If you guys like don't have internet access on your PS3 or something like that, you guys can use it, use this to join it without having to call on anybody. And the way to get this is you want to run. Don't jump. You could jump, but you can just make it with a run here. From this point, you can just sprint all the way. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, make sure you don't roll off. If you roll off, you'll miss this treasure. And for that area, you can either jump down from up there to that little platform, or you can jump from here. Well, don't jump. I mean, run. <laughs> Just run. Don't jump. Don't jump. Your character would like get to it by himself. So just run, run. And there's nothing over there, so don't worry about that. And this is the second, the lower part of the the bridge that we were on a moment ago. And we got some asshole poison moth guys over here. Can just take care of them with arrows. Two shots. Any more? I don't want them to pee on me now. Alright, uh, downstairs there's going to be a guy with a... Uh, with like a spear or something. Not really a spear, it's kind of like an axe. <laughs> uh, he can be a bit of uh, a bit of pain to fight in this area because there's water down there. And if you get into the watery area, it's gonna slow down your movement, so you can just cheese him with arrows if you guys like. He takes pretty decent damage from arrows. If he stops moving around. Be faster if you have if you use poison arrows, but I don't want to waste them. I was hoping I could get that pickup. It's a poison moss, I believe, because I think one of the, I think the first moss, or moth, moss, moth that I killed dropped that. And this is where you obtain the Ricard's rapier. It's pretty, it's a pretty cool item. It's a rapier, obviously. Uh, so for those of you guys that want to use the rapier, you guys can do so as well. Did someone just pee on me? You're gonna give me some free moth. Moss. I'm getting the name and the item wrong now, like it's I'm mixing them up. Moth and moss. Freaking tongue twisting assholes here. Uh, yeah, let's check out the rapier. What the hell is it? Yeah, right here. It has an A scaling with Dex. So, I don't know. If you guys like to use this weapon, you guys can switch over to this weapon. Uh, it's not my type of weapon. I like my <laughs> curved sword and soon gonna be a katana weapon. More. So, yeah. Just press X on this rock here and it'll move out of the way. There's nothing in this area. Oh, wait. There is something here. Large nameless soldiers, so and be careful not to fall down because it's death. So let's just head on up here. Boop. <laughs> it's so weird, there's like two holes right here just for these contraption to move. How does it even move? I don't even know. This must be some sort of mechanical thing up there going on. Um, anyways, yeah, that's 
You know that room that I said we should take care of? Yeah, with that weird hidden wall. Yep, this is where you go. Well, you come from after you get down. I'll get through that little secret area from the bottom. So yeah, I that's why I wanted to clear this room because I didn't want to come back and there's enemies here and they start like ganking me. And once again, we gotta do the drop. Make sure you keep left on this drop, not the right side, because if you drop down from the right side, you're gonna take more damage. All right, so yeah, that's done with that area. It's it's an area that most people will just miss, cause like. <laughs> I don't know, because it's kind of hidden. You won't be able to tell. I mean, unless you look down. But who the hell looks down, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on here. There's going to be two more of those... Uh, Prisoner-looking hollows here. God damn these guys. They like to exchange blows so much. Watch out for this guy with a torch. Uh, There's a hidden guy-ish. Here, the thief guy, the rogue. See ya. Forgot what this is. Okay, some lost soldier so and orange burr. I forgot what that does. I think. Let's check out what it does. If I can even find the thing. Uh, where is it? No, that's not it. Yeah, I can't find it. I don't know what the fuck. Where did it go? <laughs> Where's the item I just picked up? Uh, I'm not even sure what that was. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, moving on here. There's gonna be that guy. He has a uh, Shoto or a Crescent weapon. I forgot what it's called. Cause the Shoto looks like that. Ah, uh, he's gonna come running at you with that thing. Get enough distance, and he's gonna attack. Get two hits in and roll away. Wait for his attack. Be careful with that attack. It can, it can come into a two hit combo, so be careful. One. Shit, it was the range of my weapon. Okay, that will. Well, that can be a two hit combo too, so be careful. And make sure. You want to be really careful about these guys because. Even if you block their attack, because their weapon are like. They're like hooks. So if you block their attack, you'll still take damage, okay? So, yeah, it's kind of like a shield-breaking attack, so be careful about that. And there's a couple of moths over here. Not moss. Moth. Just cheese them over here. There's two more of those those hook guys. Not really sure what they're called. But there's two more of them in this area. And when we get on over there, I believe there's like... I, don't, I can't remember if there's one there or not. Because I might have gotten it mixed up with the beta and NG+. Kind of screws with you when you play <laughs> NG+, in this area. Because they add in new, area, um, new enemies. Uh, over here, it's going to lead to an optional boss. The, uh, the Executioner's Chariot. It will lead up there. If you cross this bridge and you just keep going, it will lead up to that bridge right there. And then when you cross it. And there's also a pretty cool item up there. It's a... Uh, Oh, there's another sublime bone dust, and it can upgrade your Estus Flask even more if you go and grab the item. And we might just do that. <laughs> well, not right now though, because we can survive pretty well with it. I mean, without it. So I am gonna pass on that. But that's where you get one. It's gonna be over there. Uh, I'll show you guys that. Right. <laughs> Well, after I take care of this oh shit part of the area, this guy scared me. You could backstab these guys. It might be a bit tough when you're soloing this part. What are you doing? Yeah, it can lead into a two hit combo. Ooh, backstab, got him. He's down, there's another guy. He's right there. 
Uh, I wouldn't recommend using up your poison arrows for these guys because they're not that tough. So don't waste your poison arrows. Got a morning star here. Uh, anything else? No. There is another spell in there. I believe it's the soul spear in that area, in that little cave there. But we can't gain access to it unless we get up there. And I want to grab some more pickups down here. Let me see if I can get a backstab here. Nope. <laughs> Okay, do your attack, do your attack. Come on, do an attack. It looks like he was going to go for a two-hit attack there. That's probably, yeah, that's going to be a two-hit attack. Ah, oh, shit, the tree. Backstab. Let's go. Alright, let's... Aromatic Ooze applies magic. Magic damage to your weapon. So you can, like, enchant your weapon with magic. Uh, I can't remember. I think there's... Uh, I'm trying to recall, because I remember there's one boss that's weak against magic. Oh yeah, it was uh, the Smelter Demon. <laughs> that's the boss. But we can kick his ass without that shit, so. Uh, no, there's one more guy here. Yeah, but it's pretty pointless to take him on because there's no more pickups in this little part here. Now, up here, there's a couple of rogue guys, the rugs. And you can kind of spot them so you can see. Ooh. Yeah, there's archers and there are these guys with the daggers. Uh oh. This guy's getting happy with his bat. Calm down. There's two arrow guys, I believe. There's one that was in front of you and there's one on the side there. Careful, yeah. Where are you going? Attack and my turn. He's done. Oh, what you got? Flame butterfly. Uh, the this bridge. There's a contraption in there. Now there's an ambush once you get in there because this guy will attempt to jump down on your ass when you're trying to interact with the contraption. So what you can do is just shoot him in the head and get him to come down. Now we can access this lever uh, without having to deal with that guy jumping down and trying to like, I don't know, backstab or something. I don't know if these guys can backstab. Uh, I haven't got backstabbed by these guys before, so I don't know if they can. But you never know when... Uh, when you deal with an enemy in Dark Souls, because they can pull off some crazy shit. There are enemies that can parry your ass. So, yeah. Uh, Soul Spear, I was right. Forgot what this was. Uh, poison Moss and Green Blossom. So, yeah, that's where the, the Soul Spear is. So, if you guys are looking for that, you guys can go acquire it in here. Now, moving on. Up here, there's, there's a bonfire over there, but we cannot access the bonfire yet because it's locked. Yep. And the key, the key is over there, over there somewhere. It's got a bit of a distance to walk before we can get the key. Careful about this guy. There's gonna be a rug right there. Gonna be like right there. You cannot see him, but he's there. And there's gonna be some like arrow guys on the far side, so be careful. He's right there. Bait him over. What you got? Throwing knives. Well, yeah, that's good because we will 
or need it. Is he gonna attack again? Wait, he can't shoot or what? Damn, you got some nice accuracy there, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if he's shooting ants or what. He's like shooting the ground. Alright, this guy's down. Uh, mm. Checking, checking. Alright, up here there's a total of three guys. One guy with a bow, and then there's gonna be a guy that's kinda hidden it. Kinda, kinda hidden. He's right there. You can kinda see. Just get his attention by <laughs> shooting an arrow on his neck. And his buddy is gonna be all pissed off because you you shot his buddy in the neck. And this is gonna be another guy right here with the bow. Well, he's not using a bow anymore because we got too close. But yeah, that's where that guy is. Poison throwing knives. There's gonna be a guy on that little platform there. Yep. Be careful about this path here if you fall down there you'll take some damage not a lot of damage but you will take uh, a bit of damage by a bit I mean like around I don't know one sixth of your health yeah it's quite a fall but you could play a safe and come on over here Gonna see. Oh shit! Yeah, but the, the arrow guys are a pain though. Ow! Oh, he got me with a headshot. I can't believe. I can't believe what I just saw there. He just give me a unicorn horn. Yeah, because uh, the reason I didn't really want to take this fall here because there's gonna be an ambush behind you. So I don't want to get whack. If I can make it, nope. <laughs> oh shit! It took away half of my health. Don't worry about the invader because he's over there. You you won't trigger the guy until you walk all the way over there. You can see a guy right there. Oh shit! He's got arrow too. Oh shit, what the hell, that was new, he never like, he never really came after me before, like, like I ran through this area around like five times, he never, he never came after me, I don't know why he decided to come after me this time, that, that was new, I didn't know he, <laughs> he follows you like that, I've been through this area so many times and this never happened before, so I was so sure that he wouldn't come after you, but, when you record for YouTube, shit tends to fuck up. Does have a scythe. And he does have a buddy. Okay, I'm in kinda in trouble here. But this should be the end of their patrol route, yeah. Oh shit. Here with the face. They have really low poise for like <laughs> invaders. If you guys want an easier way to deal with this guy, you can just like poison them, you know. Ow. Those stupid Grim Reaper weapons. Ooh, serious damage to the Phantom. Down you go. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened. He doesn't usually... Well, he never did. This is the first time he's got me. Uh, Yeah, because he spawns right near the boss door. And when he spawns, he 
most of the time he just sits there. This is the first time he's ever came after me before. So I, that kind of surprised me. Cause usually when he invades, he stands there if you're not too close to him. Okay, if you're not too close to him, he will not like engage you. But I don't know what happened this time. Maybe I was too close or what. I didn't want to swing at this guy when he was on the edge because it looks like he was about to fall, but there are times when I think enemies are about to fall and I swing at them and I end up falling with them because my swing pulled me forward. And here's going to be the key. And we can head on back. Yeah, uh, if you guys are wondering what what's in the caves, there are a necromancer. I believe there's a total of three or two. And there's a shit ton of skeletons. You light up this bonfire and you can talk to this guy. And he'll teach you a gesture too. So let's see what he has to say. to his roguery. <laughs> yeah, considering how, like, Pate told you there was a tr Well, I don't know. I can't really remember what he said, but... Um... Considering at that... That first part when you met Pate, and getting through the gate, and I don't know why the gate just dropped. I don't know. Um... Yeah, there's something wrong with Pate if that shit did happen. You learn a jester. Yeah, this guy might be right about Pate. I don't know. That's what I like to think. Pate is evil. Uh, let's. We're pretty much done with this area now. All we need to do is just take on the boss, and that's it. But the first thing I want to do is, I kind of want to, oh boy, those poison pots. I mean poison pots. You got that shit again. Uh, oh crap. No, he's not dead yet, those cursed pots. What you want to do is, you want to take out, ow, this, the necromancer over here. Because he's going to be resurrecting these um, skeletons. 
If you don't kill them, he's gonna be resurrecting these skeletons. So each time you kill them, they will come back alive. And there's a total of like, I don't know, around two or three in these cavey areas. So we want to be careful about that. And of course, they're gonna be skeletons guarding the necromancer. I don't think they're scared of light. <laughs> what the hell? Come on. I only want one of you. If I can pull one before they can... Oh, sweet. Yeah, I want to deal with one at a time. I don't want to deal with two of them. Because they cost bleed too, and these guys can parry your ass, so be careful. Yeah, if you kill them, uh, before you kill the necromancer, they won't drop you any souls, and they'll come back alive. They'll look like they're dead, because they'll crumble, but they're alive. They're alive still, so be careful about that. Make sure they don't fool you. And there's another skeleton over here. Let's take care of him. Alright. Um, yeah, the other path is it's pretty much blocked off. If I recall correctly, let's just double check. I could mix it up with other caves. Oh, snap. <laughs> Freaking drops in these games yeah I'm pretty sure it's blocked off yep it is blocked off you cannot open this path the uh, that path until you you go around it and there's gonna be a skeleton you could kill and that's how you open up that path so let's let's just get that part of the the cave done here Yeah, I remember correctly. Yeah, uh, the the last part of the cave, you can only access, gain access to it once you have cleared out more. I mean, all the enemies in this area. Uh, and the black phantom spawns here. Okay, so yeah, I was a bit confused about how it came after me like that because I was pretty far away from it. And obviously in there, there is a boss fight. But we're going to deal with the Necromancer first. He's right there. Oh shit, he's still alive. Ah, oh, crap. Oh snap! I triggered all the I triggered all the skeletons, and they won't die because the necromancer is still alive. All right, so I baited them out, and I'm gonna go in to finish the job. Shit, this guy's really close. Gonna have to just take the attack. Oh god. Skeletons. This might be the enemy. Yeah, I was trying to pull a fast one there. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, if you fuck up on your arrows, you don't kill them quick enough, you will probably suffer it. Suffer the consequences. Oh my god. These guys are everywhere. Yeah. I'm just starting to have second thoughts about fighting this guy now. Oh 
come on. Thank you. Hopefully those skeletons outside didn't revive. God damn, this was this was a frustrating area. Did they revive? Yeah, these assholes did revive. Down you go, down you go. Yeah, this this part is totally optional. I don't know if you guys really want to do this part, but if you guys really want to do it. I mean, just for combustion and a tight night show, I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, yeah, you guys can do it if you guys want. If you guys really want that combustion spell, you can do it. Attack? Come on. Okay, fine, I'll attack. And just pull the lever. Lever goes up. And yeah, we're pretty much done with this area now. Now we're just gonna go and take on the boss. Use a falchion for that. That's why I swapped over because I don't wanna lose any more durability while fighting skeletons here and not have any for the boss because this is my strongest weapon at the moment. So I wanted to save as much durability as possible. Uh, skeleton fight, there's gonna be three skeletons and we're gonna want to take out one skeleton at a time. So we won't have to deal with a bunch of s small skeletons. So let's do that. Uh, this might be in a separate video because it's gone on for 36 minutes now. So yeah, this will most likely be in a separate video. But anyways, let's get this on.